Let's explore the Bethlehem estate of industrialist politician Archibald Johnston today. But first, who was this man? Archibald Johnston was a mechanical engineer who, favored by the Bethlehem Iron Company management and senior Bethlehem Steel executive Charles M. Schwab, became president of Bethlehem Steel Company. He was appointed as first vice president of the Steel Corporation in charge of foreign sales. While first vice president, he led a municipal consolidation campaign which created the modern city of Bethlehem, Pennsylvania from the boroughs of Bethlehem and South Bethlehem. As the first mayor of the newly incorporated city, he presided over the construction of the Hill to Hill Bridge as chairman of the Bridge Commission, significantly enlarged the city's area, extended paved streets, water mains, municipal sewage, and provided the city's first municipal park. After leaving office, he returned to Bethlehem Steel and moved his family to nearby Bethlehem Township to a new property called Camel's Hump Farm, which was formed from over 390 acres of land purchased beginning 1919 from local farmers. Upon his retirement from the steel in 1927, he began describing himself as a gentleman farmer and continued in public service until his death at his home in 1948. Based on a map commissioned by Archibald Johnston in 1929 and printed privately for his family in December of that year, the family's property comprised of over 500 acres. The approximate northern border followed Pennsylvania U.S. Route 22 from Township Line Road to its junction with Pennsylvania Route 191 or Nazareth Pike. The eastern border was Nazareth Pike Linden Street. The southern border followed the ridge of Camel's Hump from Linden Street to Altona Road. The western border was Altona Road and Township Line Road. The majority of the property was in Bethlehem Township with the southern portion within the Bethlehem city limits. The property had a system of paved roads and bridges connecting the residences, the outbuildings, and other features. One road left Santee Mill Road just east of the mill, roughly following the Monocacy Creek. On the east side, it forked with the southern branch leading to the Blue House residence, another residence, and the swimming pool complex and bathhouse. The northern branch continued along the Monocacy Creek past the boathouse to the spring and pump house, where it switched back and climbed the hill to a formal garden. Another branch of this road carried visitors from the boathouse up a serpentine drive to the front entrance of the mansion situated on a rise approximately 60 feet above the creek. <music> 